Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra Shoftim. Social networking has provided many benefits. Long lost fa- friends separated by years and miles reconnect and rekindle rewarding relationships. Collaboration on various projects take place in an easier and quicker ways. Never, ways never imagined before. Yet there's a danger to social networking as well. There are sick individuals who use social networking sites as a vehicle to install fear by stalking poor, innocent people. Fear comes in many forms and has just as many causes. In this week's Sedra, as in Torah portions of past weeks, fear and battle is addressed. After all, the people are standing on the shores of the land of Israel and they're about to battle the seven nations to take over their land. Repeatedly, the Torah lists things that we should not be afraid of. Each time the Torah declares that there's no reason for fear, for Hashem fights our wars for us. This week's Torah portion is no different, except that it goes into great detail about what our fears may, we, the fears that we may face. The fears of the battlefield teach us more than just the battlefield expectations. They extend to the fears of our everyday life and how best to handle them. This week's portion states, when you go out to war, and I quote, when you go out to war against your enemies and you see horse and chariot, a people more numerous than you. You shall not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you, the same Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt, and will be when you approach the battle, that the Kohen shall come near and speak to the people, and he shall say to them, Hear, B'nai Israel, today you are approaching the battle against your enemies. Let your hearts not be faint. You shall not be afraid, and you shall not be alarmed, and you shall not be terrified because of them. In his commentary on this verse, Rashi explains the four fears that the Kohen addresses in his speech. Let your heart not be faint, you shall not be afraid, you shall not be alarmed, and you shall not be terrified. Four warnings corresponding to four practices for which the kings of these nations that they're about to battle engage in during battle. Number one, they hold their shields close together to strike them against one another thereby producing a loud noise to alarm those that are confronting them, so that they should be scared and flee away. They stamp the ground heavily with their horses and make them neigh loudly. They sound the beating of the horses' hoofs, and they shout loudly and blow horns and other kinds of noisy instruments. Those are the four things. Let your heart not be faint because of the neighing of the horses. You shall not be afraid of the noise made by the fastening of the shields, and you shall not be alarmed at the sounds of the horns. You shall not be terrified by the noise of the shouting. The coin, when he addresses these four fears and has these four things, the coin speaks to the four things that the enemies are doing and explains that those four fears will come because of them. The sound of the shields terrify us about the strength of the enemy's defense. The horse's noise worries us about their armaments. The sound of the hoofs scare us to the enemy's speed. And the shouting worries us about our enemy's personal dedication to victory. These fears extend to life off the battlefield as well. All too often we worry about the tactics of our adversaries. We, we fear the weapons, the possessions of our neighbors. We are scared of the electricity of our naysayers. And most of all, we are scared of the dedication of those against us. The principle that we should calm our fears is our advantage. We have God on our side. If we do the right thing, God will support us both on the battlefield and off of it. Shabbat Shalom.